Hello everyone, Professor D here. Today, we are going to learn an easy way to cite our sources in MLA format in Google Docs. So go ahead and sign into your Google Drive, go to your Google Docs, and let's get started. Once you're in your Google Docs, you're going to go to the ribbon where it says add-ons. You're going to click on add-ons and then you're going to go all the way down where it says get add-on. Get add-ons and you're going to click on that. Then you'll have a lot of applications that will pop up. What we're going to click on and install today is EasyBib. So I already have this installed so you can go ahead and click on EasyBib and then you have to allow it to have access to certain things so you have to read everything that's going to pop up on your screen and say yes to it if you want to use easy bib all right so i'm going to click out of this because i already have easy bib installed so once you have easy bib installed on your google docs you go to add-ons you go all the way to where it says easy bib bibliography creator excuse me, Easy Bib Bibliography Creator, and go to Manage Bibliography, and click on that. And on the right side, you'll see Easy Bib will appear. Now, you'll go down to where it says Styles MLA 8th Edition. Now, if you click on the drop-down arrows, you can use the 8th edition, you can use the 7th edition, whichever edition your instructor wants you to use. You can even use APA format with your cargo or any of the other formats. It's just, it, it just depends on what your, the requirements are for your particular class. You can uh, research books, journals, or websites. In my case, I'm going to use journal, and I'm going to type in EMF. And I'm going to search. It's going to take a minute, but it will find the article that I used it for my paper. So this is EMF. This is the article that I used. And I'm going to say select because I want it to write my source, the citation for my source. And here it is. And if I wanted to add it to my Google Docs paper, I'm going to say add bibliography to doc. And I'm clicking on that, and here it is, perfectly aligned and perfectly written. That is perfect. So if I want to now copy this, I'll highlight it and say Control Copy on a PC. And then I'm going to go to my Google Drive and say that I want to put it in my Google Slides. So I'm going to open Slides. And I'm just waiting for slides to open. I'm going to close my theme. And then I'm going to go to insert because I want to insert a new slide. So I'm inserting a new slide. I'm going to click where it says click to add text. I'm going to hit on my computer, control V. It has it in here. Now, I don't want works cited to be at the bottom. So I'm going to highlight works cited, the words works cited, and click on my computer, control X to take that away. Put it where it belongs, control V, and there it is. Now, if I want to change my font, I'll just highlight everything, and I can grow it to whatever size I need it to be, okay? And so that everybody can see it if I'm in, in slides. And here is a perfect works cited page. So... If you don't know how to do it, you should know how to do it. But if you don't know how to do it or you're still learning how to put together your MLA works cited page for any of your classes, you can always add on EasyBib and Google Docs. Have fun. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.